Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I am here for only one reason to see whether in a talk we can explore, or you can help me to see what the paths to peace may be. And it's my only reason because I remember the war, I lost a brother. I never want to see another war. And, and there are millions of people all over the world who do not want a war. And by agreeing to this interview, which is very historic for, for all of us, I hope you will be able to help me. Well, I hope you will be able to say something to the world that will be significant and positive. Welcome to Baghdad. Yes, sir. Thank you. And you are good from Welcome to Baghdad. You are conscious of the role that Iraqis have set out for themselves. Inspired by their own culture, their civilization, and their role in human history. This role requires peace in order to prosper and progress. Having said that, <coughs> the Iraqis are committed to their rights as much as they are committed to the rights of others. Without peace, they will be faced with many obstacles that would stop them from fulfilling their human role. Mr. President, may I ask you some questions? The first question is, does Iraq possess weapons of mass destruction? Most Iraqi officials have been in power for over 34 years and have experience of dealing with the outside world. Every fair-minded person knows that when Iraqi officials say something, they are trustworthy. A few minutes ago, when you asked me if I wanted to look at the questions beforehand, I told you I didn't feel the need so that we don't waste time. And I gave you the freedom to ask me any question directly so that my reply would be direct. This is an opportunity to reach the British people and the forces of peace in the world. There is only one truth, and therefore, I tell you, as I have said on many occasions before, that Iraq has no weapons of mass destruction whatsoever. We challenge anyone who claims that we have to bring forward any evidence and present it to public opinion.